got me over here sweating. What is up, YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a hard, simple, hype track, okay? Hip-hop track, okay? But going for hypeness of it, okay? A Logic, J. Cole type of track, all right? We're going to be using Superior Drummer 3 to get the drum pattern down because I feel like it's all in the drum pattern. You get the drum pattern right, you get everything else right, it'll fall into place, you can play with the melody. Okay, so I've already got that set up, we're gonna dive into that, but before we do, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell, get any video that I upload. Also, I've been doing Loop Kit Mondays, I think we're up to Loop Kit Monday 10 or week 10, make sure you download that, it's totally free, all you gotta do is follow the instructions in the description. Maybe give me an email, maybe give me a follow, and it's free. And if you want to shout out in any of my videos, all you got to do is follow the instructions below. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and make a simple hype track. Okay, so we're in FL Studio. The tempo is 80 because we're still going for like a boom bap type of feel, but kind of hype rap feel like Logic or J. Cole. Think, uh middle child or i think anyone the logic beats and shout out to his producer six incredible producer and shout out to logic he produces himself all right so what we're going to do is we're going to dive into this now we'll get to this part later but i want you to focus on superior drummer now if you don't know what superior drummer is it's a plug-in that helps you simulate real drummers okay now I know sometimes we like to plug and play and um, it just doesn't work or it sounds kind of robotic where superior drummer has MIDI files and grooves or what they call it where it can simulate real drumming and um, simulate different types of fields like punk rock or hip-hop or country all right three totally different genres but all of a sudden you can have that at your fingertips okay and when we get into it we're also gonna get into origin sound vintage mixtape for our melody that we're gonna chop up okay so I want to start here superior drummer three now what I did was I imported my own one-shot drums into here so I use the kick I just used a regular kick. I think it was from a DJ Khalil uh, kit or something. So you can hear that. Pretty powerful kick. It got the little boom bap in it, okay? Now I'm gonna also open up another instance of Superior Drummer 3 just to show you how it comes. And then I'm gonna show you what I did, okay? Just wanna be transparent to everybody, okay? Okay, so this is how it comes. It comes with a standard kit and you can go in and actually change the kit sounds around this is the kick that it starts off with this is the drum so it's like you going into guitar center and actually playing with the drum says don't you hate when you're in guitar center and everyone in there is making their own music and they're trying to outdo each other but well, this is what you this, trying to outdo each other okay so this is what I started off with and then we're gonna delete this instance I just went in and filled my own drums in I used a, um, I think I used a cardiac snare all right already sounded like J. Cole Logic you just want a hard snare okay you want a thumping kick and a hard snare that kind of gives you to react and I think I uh, put in my my own default hi-hat right, I didn't go too crazy okay and the next thing I did was I went to grooves okay and I have tons of grooves that come in and it's a big pack tons of grooves tons of MIDI I went to the pop rock country okay I went to the pop rock country because I wanted something easy that I can manipulate I didn't want it to be too crazy you don't want to go to jazz or you don't want to go to soul and those type of kids you want something easy that you can kind of create okay and then I went, they asked you what kind of play style. I want a standard style. I want it to be on beat. Okay, I don't want it to be off beat. And then I just chose lullaby. Okay, and I just drag it. 
down here and I did some manipulation you can do that as well but it's the standard feel and this is how it should sound okay standard drum four bar loop so once you get that it allows you to take the MIDI file once you've docked it up and drop it in here so we're going to solo it out okay and there it is now you can also come here and you can doctor it up as well as you can see I added a little bit but um, let's start from the beginning so the, everything is sounding good got my hi-hats I might add more hi-hats all you would have to do is drag it here if I wanted more and I like how that sounds okay I, I might just go ahead and keep that I like how that sounds it might add to the vibe and then next up you gotta have a sample so I use Serato sample it's the easiest way for me to chop up it allows you to get the timing right it allows you to get the key of the sample and this is the sample I chopped up okay so as you can see it's, it hasn't been chopped up yet I went ahead and I chopped it up into 16 okay and then we're going to go into Serato sample and here's the chop I, I laid out so I found this I just found some some height points that will go with the drums and then I laid it on top of the drums okay fire right fire right hard simple and still got me height okay and next up what you want to do is if you don't want those hi-hats to sound so crazy all right you could delete that I don't want to delete that I want it to be how it is and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna add just an 808 and we're going to be done you know i will add only thing i'm going to do when it comes to the arrangement is i'm going to drop some drums and maybe add a couple of effects maybe a um a vocal chop and let's go ahead and just add the 808 okay So now we have the 808. We can bring the drums in. And we can play the melody from the top. And just remember, we're just looking for something hard and hype. only missing one thing and that's a vocal chop and for my vocal chop of course I'm gonna go 
Uh, let's look into my 500 trap chance kick, and we gotta go to. We can go to any one of these years and it'll get the job done. Let's see. Let's just get super hype. You got me over here sweating. It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Hopefully you like and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you like the video. How to make a hard, simple, hype, trap beat, hip-hop beat, whatever you want to call it to rap to. I enjoy making this one. Remember we used Superior Drummer 3 and Serato Sample. And then we just used the loop from Origin uh, Sound Vintage Mixtape, okay? And also follow me on BeatStars, HollywoodFloss.BeatStars.com. All right? Let's jam this one.